Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, ASPE uh, Anatomy and Physiology screencast. Today's focus is going to be on planes of movement. Um, so planes of movement, we're going to have a look at how they link in what we've done so far on um, joints of the body and movements that take place there. Okay, so planes of movement then, uh, see how it fits in the big picture here. So we started off, we looked at joints and movements at the joints. Now we're going to have a look at these planes of movements uh, and then we'll be looking at how uh, muscles can then link to pull all of this together in order to perform a movement analysis, which is there. Okay, so planes of movements are key focus. So planes of movements in regard to what they are, they're basically kind of a, a visual representation of three-dimensional uh, movements at a joint and uh, if that sounds complicated it's not meant to okay the base what happens is your body is split up and it's split up in three ways uh, and it's via these three planes the sagittal plane the frontal plane and the transverse plane if you imagine you've got a big piece of glass the glass can either split you from left to right going straight through your body it can split you from top to bottom um, and then on top of that, um, you've got one coming step right down the left and right. Okay, so left and right, top and bottom, front and back. So they are key components, and we'll have a look at those uh, visually in a minute. Call down notes, this is how you should be taking them. Such a tall frontal transverse plane. They are your key planes, but we have to look at them. Um, obviously, you put little descriptions there on where they are, and then a question here just to check yourself when you come into the lesson. Okay, so... Potential exam question, the type of thing you might get, if you something like this. So describe the front and the sagittal planes of movement and give a sporting example for each. So what you've got to be able to do in this situation is be able to work out what the planes are, where are they splitting in the body, and then you'd have to be able to say um, kind of a sporting example. Now, to give the effective sporting example, you'd have to know the types of joint movement that took place there, which, is, which will kind of consolidate what we did in the lesson before. So... On here then, planes of movement, if we want to have a quick look, the sagittal plane, then your first kind of uh, research area is this. So basically it lies vertically, so it divides the body into left and right parts. Okay, so if you kind of have a look on here, uh, you've got here left and right, you've got a sheet of glass, an imaginary sheet of, gla sheet of glass obviously, uh, and you look at this, it just comes straight down. Okay, straight down there, and that will just allow you uh, to see what it is, left and right. So that's that one if we go down here the frontal plane then so the frontal plane front and back so it's in the vertical so uh, if I just show you this one so it's, it's basically anterior and posterior the physiological terms called for front and back uh, posterior is at the back anterior is at the front and that will kind of uh, be demonstrated here so you've got that one there so that sheet of glass comes straight down the middle okay of your body so and then it's going um, as so there, so split you into front and back. Final one then, I mean obviously that's very easy. I mean in frontal play, front and back, I will give you a good way to remember this in the lesson, I don't even want to talk about that now. Um, and then down here the transverse plane then, this lies horizontal, okay, so this is going to cut you in half, but instead of uh, front to back or left to right, top to bottom. So if you have a look at that one there, that kind of gives you um, the different planes. Now, what we've got to do uh, when you come into the lesson is we've got to start to look at kind of how these planes dictate the way that we move and the movement types that take place at the joint. So that's going to be our key focus. And just as a tip to this, you've got to be able to see that kind of, if you look at this, it, it makes it a little bit easier if you think about the direction in which the plane is so if it's going out around here and when you come into the lesson uh, we can have a look if you look at this one um, going on to there it comes all the way around the outside I will show you that when you come in ultimately all I need to do is very simple screencast for tonight is you need to know the name of the plane and where it splits that's all I'm asking please get that done um, effectively and really try and learn it before you come in so we can spend more time really looking at those movements that take place at the different areas that's great thank you very much